has one of the largest dairy farm operations in Idaho. Betancourt Dairies inherited a problem when it acquired a 9,000 cow dairy near Twin Falls. The dairy was the subject of persistent odor complaints from neighbors. There's three dairies here, the largest of the three. Um, it's about 20 years old, 25 years old, and unfortunately it had a lot of uh, public complaints. Betancourt made changes to the manure handling practices at the dairy, installing three two-stage anaerobic digesters to process the waste. Methane gas is captured from the digesters and converted into energy by two CAT G3520 C generators. Electric power produced by the generators is sold to the local utility, Idaho Power, for distribution on the main grid. The on-site waste to energy facility, called New Energy One, is owned and operated by Western States Equipment Company, a Caterpillar dealer that developed the project. Betancourt's Rock Creek Dairy hosts the system and supplies a constant stream of cow manure in exchange for a host of environmental benefits, including odor reduction, clean animal bedding derived from the processed waste, reduced material handling of solid waste, and more effective solid and water-based fertilizer. I think it will help us survive on the environmental side. It's very beneficial. Less, less order on the dairy. The gases don't go up in the air. And that's, you know, there's a lot of people looking into it. The success of smaller scale dairy biogas systems throughout the nation suggests that this sector has the potential to reduce environmental impacts while generating energy and income for dairies. We view this uh, project and this uh, technology as an important piece of the future for the uh, dairy industry and specifically for these three dairies together. Idaho ranks behind only California and Wisconsin in national dairy production. But market forces, such as falling milk prices and lower farm valuations, threaten the industry. So if you could bring uh, dairies together in more of a community dairy concept uh, and with one interconnect, you can do a lot better job. Partners like Western States to come in with the amount of money they spent um, and the, the dedication and the investment in the project, that's pretty unique. On another project, the dairy had an issue with having a person with on-site authority to make decisions quickly. That hasn't been the case with Western States. Western State is, is, is low, they have a local presence and the decisions, at least with this project, have been pretty quick. You've been hiring the right people to put in place to, to make sure that it runs and that's, that's, been a, that's been a tremendous help. The digester has taken the edge off the foul-smelling air and led to improved relations with people who live near the Rock Creek Dairy Farms. The, the digester by itself didn't necessarily make that all go away. It's part of Louis' management too. But uh, point being, we've, we've turned that corner with the community, reached out to them, let them know what's going on. Um, they're, more, they're more in tune with the dairy today than they were 10 years ago, certainly. And the digester is an important piece of uh, order control and an important piece that Louis can use as a management tool. The CAT G3520C biogas generator sets are designed to operate on corrosive biogas fuels. They are tolerant of many engine starts and stops and are also capable of operating on fuels with fluctuating quality. The new Energy One facility is steadily producing more power, providing 2.4 megawatts of electricity hourly to Idaho Power as part of a power purchase agreement. When the new Energy One facility is fully built out, the power plant will run 24-7 and produce 4 megawatts of power, enough to power several thousand homes. I think it's an amazing deal turning the cow manure into, uh, into power, and a lot of power.